now we got Family Guy Funny Stereotype Compilation. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's get into it. This party's worse than a Mexican funeral. Y Lupe, y otra Yo, Lupe. Hey, son. Salvador, <laughs> Yo. Fabian, Jesus, Maria, Vincente, y los perros de Vincente. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, read the third row down, please. Hey, hey, yo, hey, yo, whoa, hey. <laughs> Man, Russia has the hottest and ugliest women in the world. All tens and ones. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Tens and ones. Whoa. Oh, I'm a whoa. From now on, I too will be abstinent. I'll be as untouched as the turn signal in an Asian woman's car. How much signal I need to cut across eight lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I got shocked again. <laughs> she said, good luck, everybody else. <laughs> That's so funny. Hey, you just gonna drive. Get out of here. You ever see Tokyo Drift? Yo, I'm telling you. They, they be hitting those fucking, um... What's those niggas um, that be making the cars? How they can't drive it? That don't make no sense. <laughs> Be as untouched as the turn signal in an Asian woman's car. How much signal I need to cut across the lane? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody else. It's my dog's car. Oh, and I know you didn't ask, but I am quick to anger. Okay, great. Now get out there and try to kiss as many ladies as you can. The record is 60 in a month. You, sir, are officially an Uber driver. Come on. This is easier than getting your jet ski license. All right, Kyle, looking good. You got 100% on your written test, 100% on your water test. Just one last question. Have you ever had a fist fight with your stepdad? Which stepdad? You passed. Here's your license. Go be a dick. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no, Joe, these aren't done. The inside's colder than an Asian in-law. Mom, Dad, this is Ellen. It's a pleasure Where to you. Where you go college? Uh, Tufts? Never heard, not real school. What you do? I'm an eco-consultant. What that? That sounds stupid. How much you make? <laughs> About 200000 per year. Welcome to family. Ugh, I swear, oh, sometimes wow. your head is emptier than a French laundromat. There is no one here. Why did you make me invest in this? Well, look at the bright side. We can do our own laundry for free, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Good one. No, we'll remain filthy. Cohog Racket Club. Where frail old men come to weigh themselves in the nude. Does that say 84 or 85? It says 63. Oh, dear. How'd you get all those cuts on your butt? Hey, Tyler, you want to algebra? Yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> You're awful! The preceding joke was brought to you by men. Men! We don't know. <laughs> well, I don't like your cooking. Well, I don't like having to literally empty the farts out of your pockets whenever I do your laundry. You're the one who's always cooking Brussels sprouts and broccoli. It's like an Irish bar fight down there. You're from one town over, so I hate your guts. <laughs> we took that helicopter tour at Tucson. Wow, I've never seen so many boats not near bodies of water. That park is all concrete. Look, there's a dog tied to our other dog. I think that guy with long hair is a lawyer. Look at all those students running for their lives. Oh, there's the concrete park again. Ah, <sighs> nothing like a day at the park surrounded by overcompensating divorced dads. Wow, look how high you're going. What an amazing day this is. <laughs> is mommy spending $2,500 a month on you? <laughs> That's what I'm sending mommy. <laughs> but you just think you know everything, don't you? You're like a black woman in hindsight. I told you. What did I tell you? Didn't I tell you? Cause I told you. Mm-hmm. And bro. Bro. <laughs> bro, there's no one on the planet that know more than a black woman. Than a black woman. In high Especially if she told you so. If she told you, she there's told no way. Yeah. Not even Albert Einstein knows yeah. more than that one, bro. What I tell you? Because I told you. <laughs> When did I tell you? A long time ago. And what did I say when I told you? Exactly what just happened. Hey, yo, she's dumber than a Boston shit. area. 
Like it's clearly a white man yeah, doing that doing shit. It, that, that's what we have to be. That's why I love South Park so yeah. much. Because when they be bringing the uh, the black celebrities and they had a white niggas doing Snoop Dogg, he's like, hey, it's Snoop Doggy Dog. Yeah, that's, that's just. Shit. Shit. But I love when people. I love when other races try to yeah. like turn, but that's not too I mean. much. There's somebody I get a little kind of racist. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. but. Um, I like what other races try to pretend to be other races. Just I just don't well. like when they when they be having in the movies when they have a whole bunch of white people. Like let's say you're going on a camping trip, hey camping trip, a whole white bunch of white people. They got that one black guy. So what we about to go roll the boat, y'all? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rap, beat. word. And they, and the nigga be in the movie. He be like, Jason, you ain't about to kill me, nigga. Hold up, let me get my jet. <laughs> Oh shit, this nigga like immortal and shit. <laughs> Doing <laughs> man unnecessary <laughs> things that black people supposed yeah, to do. Like, oh, oh, well, I one hate black nigga, he dead after that. Like, <laughs> I hate that shit, man. All the well, other black jokes be hilarious, though. Dumber than a Boston area book report. The novel I chose to address is Oliver Twist by Charles Dickens. Queer name, yeah. right? The book was actually not bad. Barrington Room? Is that Captain That's Crunch? the most exclusive room in all of New England. Yeah, I hear it's even harder to get in there than the University <laughs> of Arizona. Like Captain Crunch. Well, it's beating. Welcome to the Wildcats. Black guys change their shirts while they tell you a story. I mean, she's good at haircutting and everything. They gave her the chair right by the door. But I guess now she wants to hang plates on the wall or whatever. And you know she gained the weight back from the lap band, right? That Bernadette in her pie. You know it, brother. Okay, I'm gonna go eat this steak in the bathroom. It's like ear bloodening sounds had sex with nose bloodening smells, and this is their baby. I am glad you are enjoying yourself. So Would you like some of my meat hushnush? It's a chicken that has been yelled at for two hours and then run over by a Mercedes. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, you can really taste the fear in the chicken. Yeah, you got anything for a poor fat person who wants to look like a rich fat person? Of course. Now, I'll mostly be hitting on waitresses who are too young and thin to ever be interested in me. <laughs> hitting on them in a kindly, genial way? No, in a threatening, creepy, I'm joking, but I'm not really joking way. Sir, what you're describing is precisely Mr. Bahama's vision. <laughs> Tony Bahama, five million uncles can't be wrong. It's not like I'm a woman who's about to turn 30. Jesus. You guys, I don't care what we do for my birthday as long as... Yeah, big shout out. <laughs> Big shout! I forgot about this shit. <laughs> Big shout out to my nigga Jesus. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Shout out, shout out to my nigga Jesus, man. He was in too deep. They caught his ass, man. Yeah. <laughs> big, big likes for Jesus, big man. Big likes for Jesus. What? <laughs> I dead ass gotta do this shit. Creepy, I'm joking, but I'm not really joking way. Sir, what you're describing is precisely Mr. Bahama's vision. Tommy Bahama, five million uncles can't be wrong. It's not like I'm a woman who's about to turn 30. You guys, I don't care what we do for my birthday, as long as it lasts the whole week and it's very expensive and inconvenient for all my friends. Oh, and I'm gonna dress like a slut and be rude to everyone for no reason. But Maya... I don't care that your dad's dying. We're all going to Montreal for the week. Maybe I gotta find friends who can't make fun of my appearance because they're weird looking themselves. Like those two bearded dwarves walking across the street there. Hey, will you bearded dwarves be friends with me? We, sir, are Italian children. Good day. <laughs> <laughs> what are those guys doing? Ah, those are the McMurphy brothers. They've been circling that same spot for 50 years. <laughs> Just dare to throw the first punch. Just you try it. Oh, I'll try it. Just you try it. You'll feel it when I try it. I'd like to see you have at it. Would you now? Would you now? Unbelievable. There's hardly anyone here. Well, that's it. I'm off to a new town to start a new life. Ooh, sorry. Don't you know what a rosary on a doorknob means? Um, and you dodged a bullet not having to raise that kid. Your life would have been more miserable than a lonely old widow living in a downstairs apartment. <laughs> She's waiting for it. <laughs> She's <laughs> waiting for it. I think cool. What did I just say? I'm calling the police. This isn't going to be a cakewalk, all right? I'm your supervisor. Meg, Meg, I promise I'll do better at this job than I did on the SATs. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, I've seen this one. <laughs> Come on. Do mess. But wait a minute, Peter. Maybe that's the answer. You just gotta get his mother to take him back. How the hell am I supposed to do that? She's an idiot redneck, Peter. 
Tricking her should be easier than escaping from Canadian Alcatraz. Can I go through here? Just be back by bedtime. Okay. <laughs> Do they always sound like that? The boot. This is old thing. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm Carol. Mom uh, says you'd make a great Florida whore. What does that mean? <laughs> thought I'd be a good Florida whore. Thanks to you, my hair stays like this when we stop. Good thing, Peter. I mean, come on, we're a team. Like fish and chips and fat guys. I want the double cheeseburger, but I'm gonna go healthy and get the fish and chips. <laughs> fish and chips. Fat guys think we're a diet food. <laughs> we have a chocolate chocolate cake that's infused with chocolate, served with chocolate ice cream and a molten chocolate topping. We'll have one of those with four spoons. More like four of those with one spoon for me. <laughs> <laughs> it was even better than the time I stumbled into that fat, lonely women's club. Do you like cake? Yes. Do you like my <laughs> ass? Yes. Do you want to eat cake off my ass? What kind of cake? Angel food cake. Well, Rusty, looks like we're gonna eat our way out of another jam. It seems foolish to have all this money lying around. Oh, you'd rather have it down at the bank where the Jewish guys can leer at it? Yeah! <laughs> 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 you think all those chickens had to buy tickets? Uh, what do you want to watch? Well, if you turn on channel 14, we can probably catch the end of Muslim Looney Tunes. As a pig, I am very dirty and should not be touched by humans. We <laughs> made it! This is where Padma works! <laughs> but yeah, man, Family Guy. Family Guy, back at it again. Old yeah, man. Stereotypes. Some of them we've seen because we've seen a lot of compilations, but. Facts. It was pretty good. Pretty yeah, good. I like that. I like that Jew joke. That Jew joke was hilarious. Yeah. And the, um, the black woman hindsight joke. Oh, yeah, that shit was funny. That was too. hilarious, too. <laughs> but yeah, I like you, boys. Don't trust. Yup.